That's a Hi, Lord. And see, I don't have all the other ones because you have all these things on the bottom which you can send to different things. I just have it all sent in the email. The other ones, that's way too much. I don't need all that other. <clears throat> well, did everybody have a good lunch? Very good. Good, thank you. Excellent. Yes, thank you. Um, What's that? I'll read that one. Yeah. So um, we're going to be doing a video today, and I, I've done a lot of video sessions in in the last five years, and what I have found is the best way to do a video session is to go as hands-on as you can right away, um, so that you can work through work through all the little weirdnesses of building a good video rather than just having a presentation about creating a video. So I don't have a presentation for this. Um, you're actually going to dive in and start creating very, very shortly. So it'll be kind of fun. Um, but what I do want to do is talk about a few, a few things that we're going to do before you kind of get started. And we're actually going to help each other out. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a it's going to be a collaborative kind of deal. You're going to help each other a little bit. So the first thing that I want to talk about is that when you're shooting video, this is the way you shoot video. Okay? You don't shoot video like this. If you're going to put it on Instagram, you can shoot video like this, or Facebook or something, that's fine. But when you're trying to shoot something professional, it should never be shot for you. Because it's if it's going to go on YouTube or whatever, it, it needs to be shot for that one. That's a big mistake that I see a lot of people make when they're taking videos of their kids, when they're doing whatever, they take all this vertical video. And the reason for, for this is you, vertically, you lose a lot in your shot. Um, so, for example, I'm going to give you an example of uh, Chrissy's, Chrissy's son, Alex, does a lot of skiing. If she took vertical video of that, she's not going to get very much of what's happening. What she really wants to do is, now you're gonna be able to get a lot more of that shot of what's on each side. Especially since uh, most of the time when you're taking taking these videos, there are people are further off. You're gonna get much more of what's going on. Um, so that's number one. Always shoot in horizontally, okay? That doesn't mean you have to take pictures that way. I mean, you can, you should flip, you should flip for a certain picture that's better in a landscape than is this horizontally. But that doesn't mean you have to take everything in horizontal. Okay? But for video, you should. The second thing, and I was going to try to make this work so that you could under, so I could just broadcast my phone up there, um, but I couldn't make it work. So I'm just going to show you an example of what I'm talking about when I say framing or something. And this is another mistake that a lot of people tend to make. Um, so here on the end is going to be easier. I'm going to frame you. So just okay. Okay, I'll do that. This is a good frame. I'm right about here. So, so there's a thing called the rule of thirds in video. And you usually want to put your subjects to the left or the right third and never in the middle third. Uh, what that allows you to do is a, is a couple of things. Um, but a lot of times you might want some sort of interesting background stuff. Like if you watch the news, they always put somebody over to the one side or the other. They never send to them in the screen. Uh, but now I can see kind of what's happening in the background too. Uh, which is nice, and if I focus on him, it'll help put a background a little bit too. So, in all of your camera work, when you, this will also be good for taking pictures. If you just click on that, so if I click on his face, it now blurs the background. Mm -hmm. If you don't click on anything, it's going to try to expose everything, and then it, it doesn't, it's not going to look good. Um, so, especially for close ups, you definitely want to just click on that person's face, and then that's going to blur the background, give you that nice effect. But you can go all the way into, I mean, we could, we could frame all the way to about right here. And this seems really close, and people, when you're when you're shooting a video, they're going to be like, "Why are you so close to me?" But there's, this is going to do a couple things. Number one, it, that frame is really good. Once, if I come way up here, I get way too much of all the other junk that's in the shot. This is way too far away. Mm -hmm. And the most important part about video, I'll show this. I'll show you this too, so you can see on the other end. That's my dog. <laughs> so good for me. Uh 
so now you kind of see what's in the background. But I mentioned to you her, she's talking. She was facing me probably a little more. Well, that was the stuff, okay. Would you, why would you not like have a minor jailer or minor shipping? Yes. So the reason that we can zoom in, the most important part about a good video is the audio. If your audio is bad, your video is going to be bad. And the closer I am to my subject, the better audio I'm going to capture. I'm going to capture really good audio from right here. If I go way back and zoom in, there's going to be two problems with that. One, the audio is not going to be good. And worse, I'm going to get so digital zoom because this does not have an optical zoom. You know, like, you know, like how this zoom zooms in. Then you get it. It's not looking nice. So the closer you get to your subject, the better it's going to look and then the better it's going to sound. That's important. Um, you can get like little stands for your phone to each for your phone stand, and then yep, and that could be pretty good. Um, for tripods, and just a small little pocket. Oh, oh. Yes, oh. Well, well, there you go. Yes. I see the little yeah, round things. Yeah, so that's in the same yeah, way. Yeah, sometimes I can do some of that stuff, but not the same way. Uh, they also have the very little bit three little tripods <laughs> that you can set on that way you can kind of work the way you can as well. Uh, and that's something we actually recommend for people who want to shoot video for stuff in their classes. It's just a, a little tripod, which is like twenty dollars, and a little older is like ten dollars. And then you don't need to get a big full camera and stuff. These shoot really good video. Um, you don't lend those out. Uh, we have some tripods. I don't, we have a couple of phone things. I don't know how many we have, but uh, okay. maybe because yeah, mm -hmm. just have your own. Um, so that's, and when we shoot video today, that's what I want you guys to really think about. And when we're doing some of this stuff, I want you to just think about maybe we're going to partner up so that the other person can take their phone and you don't have to worry about it. But if I was going to shoot my own video, um, I would probably try to do the same thing. And I try to frame myself inside here. Now, this is a little bit weird for me because my camera's on that side. So I probably would, as much as I could, try to keep myself on the same side as my camera. And it's easier for me to look at it and still see what's going on. Although I kind of like this look a lot. So I frame myself here and just remember to look at my camera. My camera can be over there. So if I'm talking to it and I'm looking at myself, you can see I'm not looking at the camera. So you have to remember to look at the camera when you're talking and you're still getting that you know, selfie camera. Um, like I said, all those tips will also help you with the photos. So, um, Use it. You should always be tapping on the thing you want as your focus or um, expose for light as well. So, especially for darker areas, if you're not getting a good shot, you can tap on the darker area and that'll give you either a darker shot or a lighter shot depending on how the camera works. Uh, you can really make, that. make your shots up there. Okay, so horizontal video is important. Okay, and um, from there, if you put stuff on your phone, it's really easy to get at. If you put it on some, if you check one of our cameras up, 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 up in the thing, it's not always easy to get this stuff off the camera on your computer where you need to go. But it's really, really simple to either from your phone save something into Google Drive, which you then can take anywhere, or get it off of your phone and, and put it into something else. So we're going to use, we can use your phone today, or you can use the apps that are built in uh, to, to, we're going to use video to kind of mess around a little bit today. And that has a if your if your uh, computer has a, um, a camera on it, you can use that. So you can use either one or both of those. Today. That's up to you guys. Okay. Questions so far? All right. Um, I've been trying to decide how I want to handle this. We have we have a certain number of licenses to to Wii Video that we can lend out to people to use for the full product, which gives you more time to export. But the free version gives you five minutes. Which is more than enough time for what we're going to do today. And then, if you want more time, you can ask us for code and we can give it, give it to you. Or I can just give you guys all codes right now, but I'll, I'll definitely remove them at some point so we can use them because they're reassignable licenses. And is there a difference or advantage versus iMovie? So, what I'm going to try to do today is just show you really good way of just how do you make a good video. You're going to learn it on a, in Wii video, but it, the, the techniques will apply to iMovie that just might be done in a Oh, okay. I see. So my, my goal is for you to understand how to make a good video without, um, but, but be able to do it 
be able to apply these principles on any software. You just whatever piece of software is a little bit different. You have to learn like how do I do this there. Mm -hmm. yeah. And something like iMovie, um, WeVideo is a really it's a pretty awesome tool. Uh, it's completely online. Works on every single computer. That there, it's just all browser based. Mm -hmm. All the processing takes place in a server somewhere else. So once you're like finalizing your movie, normally when you do that on your computer, you can't, you just, you just leave it. You don't touch your computer. You don't do anything else on it. It's taking a lot of computer cycles to do all that stuff. When you do this with a video, you literally publish, you can close your computer, go to, or go do whatever you want, and it'll just email you and say, hey, this is done. So it's an, another advantage to that. It's also collaborative. So you can share the same footage or you can share the same project. And so you can work on your project, and then somebody else can come and work on that same project, and so on and so forth. So that's also kind of a, another like. I was just asking because you said the five minute rule, we record a lot of presentations. Sure. That are 20, 30 minutes. You know what I mean? So. Well, you I'm going to show you. Always exceed the five minute thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. So there's a, a couple other tools. Right. There's a couple other tools on campus. So if you're just recording presentations, you're just kind of getting that for people to go back and look at it again. Mm -hmm. You may not be worrying as much about framing. You're just worried about capturing, right? So we're, we're, you'll see this when we're done with these. We did all of these in, in a Google Meet. So when you go back to watch these, these are all captured with a Google Meet. There is a function that allows you to record in Google Meet. It's not free. We have 10 licenses for it. And if you want one, it's $4 a month. So if, if anybody wants to, the ability to be able to record, we can, for $4 a month, add that ability to record as much as you want on somebody's account. And those are real assignable, so we can add, let you use it, take it away. We would probably pay for most of them for a while. It's not a big deal. We consider giving it to everybody. We just don't know if it's worth the $4 a user. You know, that's $20,000 a year. So there's a lot of other stuff that comes with that uh, on top of it. So the G Suite's free for us. But the, these other features, these these cost money. Um, so we're recording it with with Meet, and it works fantastic. You literally start your Meet. I have a camera pointing at me, and there's a little record list. I hit record meeting. I'm done. It's saved it to Google Drive, and I can share it out from there. I'm done. So it's it's pretty nifty. Uh, so if you want a license like that, just for recording those types of things, just let us know. Otherwise, you can use any recording program that comes on your computer too. That doesn't really matter. Um, we video can also record, but the things that are in mind often have a limit of, like, uh, Screencastify is another one that we have licenses for. That was another session that was earlier today with, with Taylor. You can also do recordings of your webcam and your screen. So if you want to capture your face and what you're doing, you can do that. Um, so there's a lot of different options. WeVideo can also do that. WeVideo, what it brings is beyond the capabilities of recording, it's all the editing pieces too. So you're going to be able to do multiple layers of text and pictures over top of video with multiple layers of sound and that kind of stuff. This is taking a, you know, Simple video and kicking it up a notch to be a little bit higher production. Um, so what I'm going to, I might throw you guys into this account. So what I'm going to have you do is go ahead and open a, uh, open a new tab and go to wevideo.com. And you should get something like this. And what you're actually going to do is just click this G button right here, sign up for the login with Google account, and then choose your school Google account. And this will be the free version. You'll get five minutes of uh, export time per month for free, and it puts a watermark on it at the end. Um, what I'm going to try to do is add you guys into this group really quick. So once I'm really done with that part, if you have problems with it, just let me know. And I always want to make sure I'm ready to. You're not going to see the same thing that I'm seeing right now because I've got videos in mind and you don't. So once you click the sign up and you've allowed it for your account access, it's going to look a little bit different than mine. Um, I got the same thing you did. You didn't click it in. You should still have I got the same thing you did. Yeah, do the try it button for free. So you have to kind of go through all this fun. Do uh, try to scroll down a bit. Uh, oh, just, uh, just right here. This is what I got. In your stack. Oh, right there. Scroll down just a little bit. No more. All right. Well, I went right to that. Because I think you're a license. I think you're a member of something else. Oh. That's why. 
Try to. There should be a button. I need to see somebody's screen. But that was right in the middle. You had. I think. Can you click the uh, click the accept button, cookies at the at the bottom the button, and then click um, get uh, upgrade in the top right. Upgrade. And is there a place for no, code? Yeah. Okay, it's an upgrade. Is there a place for code? Is there a place for a code? Okay, five code. So then the bottom line, there's a five code. That one? Okay. It says. So it's all cap. Uh, it's not all caps. So it's capital Y, capital P, capital L, small B is in boy, and capital P is in Patrick, lowercase D, capital X. This is not valid. Not valid. No, not valid. Oh my. Hmm. Well. <laughs> Uh, oh, I see there. Oh. I'm going to get this to you, though. Let's not worry about this for now. It doesn't actually matter. So, we're going to do it. All right, so we're going to do is create a new edit. So you should have a button to create a blank head. We'll with that. We'll just create a new Create a new Mine says try it or upgrade or something. Try. 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 Yeah. And it's got a bunch of videos. Videos of flowers. Oh, if you go down and scout in the room. Oh, oh, they do square now. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. All right. So I don't know how much access you're going to have to some of these features. Mm -hmm. Some of the some of the features in the, in the very beginning. I think you'll have for export. You might have, but you both play around with them when you just start. So this first thing with the star 
these are uh, 650,000 free assets that, that we video had built into it. So there are um, there are pictures, there are sounds, there's music, and then there's video clips that you can just grab that are free to use. Creative Commons, you don't screw around with licensing or anything like that, use them in your video. Um, and for what we're doing today, even if we don't get to the point where we're trying to finish the video, we can't because they're in there, it doesn't really matter. You can still be able to play the video back and see what it looks like, and then we can upgrade it later. Um, so what's cool is, <clears throat> if I click on that, and I wanted that to be a part of my background, he's not, he's not going to be talking. That's not what I'm looking for. I'm just looking for that background of a news anchor. Right? I want to click on that. Um, but if I, if I search in here for anything, so news is what's in there, but if I, uh, if I said I wanted football, these are all different clips you can use um, for something that's talking about football. Um, I wanted to kind of a cool little you know, splash screen or whatever. Um, and you can, you can search for anything. So uh, it starts with video clips, but you notice it goes down to pictures and things too. And then it goes to sounds. And I can use all this. Okay. Most things have some built in media and some built in fiction. Almost everything has something built in. There are other resources you can get, uh, you can pay for or find stuff. One of the best resources for finding sounds uh, is actually YouTube, and it's called audio. And YouTube has an audio library. And in this library, you can search for different types of things, including by instrument, by mood, by genre. And these all have attributions um, that basically you can pretty much use however you want. And then you can just download those to your computer and then put them into your uh, put them into your video that you're making. So there's a whole there's just like thousands and thousands of them that people just create and put in there. Um, some of them may not be appropriate, so you need to, anybody can upload whatever they want here, so it could be anything, you just have to make sure you listen to it. And then they also have a whole library of sound effects. So if you click into there, you can get uh, all kinds of different things. So if I wanted a 50 caliber shell drop, I can get that if I wanted a uh, jet fire. Matthew Storm, seven minutes of it. We're going to count along. Uh, some zombies. <laughs> so this is a really great place to grab some free stuff. If you're using some other product, uh, or you're just looking for things that are not in the video and you're not, you don't like what they have, uh, which is nice. So you can search for whatever you want there, and we'll come back to that later, but that's what that first tab does. Tab number two, which is the, the star inside of uh, a folder, this is your media that you upload. So this is like when we, a little bit, when we take some videos, we're going to be able to upload these into, into the video, which will be pretty cool. Um, and we're going to we're just going to take some sample clips and put them up there. We're going to take a couple pictures, put them up here, and then you're just going to create a little, we're going to create like a little about you video of like less than 30 seconds of length. And it'll, so by the time you're done, it should look kind of good, you know, I mean, but you'll have, you'll have an idea of how it works, and that's, that's what matters. Yeah, sort of. uh, so this is, this is our product media. If I were going to upload something, there's a green import cloud, and I can click on that, and I can drag and drop anything from my computer in here, but I can also click this little button down here and grab anything from any of these other places, which include Google Drive, Facebook, Box, Instagram, Dropbox, OneDrive, Flickr, or Picasso. So I can grab stuff from all of those things as well. It's the green cloud button. Oh, uh, you can click one, one tab over. Code dashboard. It doesn't save your project until you've had some content in it, so it just go out of the algorithm. 
Okay. That's where you can upload things into that you uh, that's your own content. We'll be doing that again later as well. If you wanted to record directly on this system, there is a red button next to that. This opens the ability to install like a, a Chrome extension to do this. Uh, this. This gives you the ability to use your webcam and record um, you know, a lot of that here right from my webcam. So I can record right from my computer into this if I want. Wow. Um, and then with the paid version, you also get the ability to record your screen. So if I want to do like a how-to video, I can record my screen. Um, and then lastly, you can do uh, record audio and just do a voiceover. So you might take a bunch of pictures and, and have different, uh, different videos that you put in here, and then you just want to do a voiceover at the end. This is a good way to do that. And oftentimes, the computer mics are going to be a little bit better than your phone mics sometimes. Or you can, you can get a really nice mic that captures your computer that you're talking to, one of the big fat mics that. Do you have good mics that we could borrow? We do have a few, yeah. We do. Um, so that's the media part. The next little tab over from, from the media is your titles. And in the paid version, they have all kinds of great little titles. And if you click on it, you can see what they're going to do. There's, there's that one. Here's one that gives you a, a quote. Uh, here's one that does other stuff. So there's all kinds of these things with different little motion pieces. And they're already pre-built. And you don't have to. So it's like iMovie. You don't have to put a title in or whatever. And they keep adding to these. And you can preview any of those. Okay. Then you can also do some things that are in season. So like here's the new year. So they did some kind of fun things for new year. So on and so forth. About a few. Uh -huh. And then they have little call-outs here as well. So if you just need some text or if you want to frame some text or something like that. The thing next to that is audio. And this is where in free there's, there's some stuff, but then they also have premium and sound effects. And they actually break these into subfolders. So if you're looking for stuff from a hospital. <laughs> Where did you get the stuff from? Uh, you just click on that. Oh, sound effects, right. I want something from check, I from some traffic here. Oh, on the jet engine. You can kind of see what they're waiting for, which I think is helpful. Um, and then in the in the premium music, it kind of breaks things out a little bit more. Um, there there are some things in, in free, but in premium, it breaks them into those kind of feel good things. So if you're looking for something specific, okay. A couple other things when you're playing something, your space bar can stop and play. And also, what later on we put stuff into our down here, which is where this is, this is where our media goes in our timeline. When you're playing your timeline, you can stop and start your timeline also with spacebar, and that's really handy. Rather than clicking to stop it, it's nice to be able to stop because you can much more quickly click your space spacebar than to screw around with clicking around on your mouse. Uh, so this is just something that I'll do now. All right. And then uh, after that, we've got transitions. And transitions will show you what will happen. Uh, they'll give you a preview of what that would look like. So there's a crossfade, crop or cross word, crossfade, some mosaics. we got some really funky ones with parasol. Something that grows out like, oh, that's weird. Um, and the only thing I would tell you is be careful about your your uh, your transitions. Um, if you remember back, you know it was all the rage in PowerPoint to have a million transitions, and everything. Every like every item had to have a trans. Like don't do that. Put your stuff up on there and talk about it. And let people look at it. Maybe you transition between slides, and that's about all you should do. Keep that same kind of thought in your video. Uh, if, unless there's a reason to be doing what you're doing, you probably shouldn't add stuff to it. Um, but you don't want everything to be a hard cut either, where you just cut from one clip to another. So you might want a little cross page, a really good one. Um, dissolves are really good. And then lastly, you have some images. And these are all uh, these are all backgrounds, and these are great for just putting some text. And they're just going to lose for a really long, like basically forever. 
So if you just want to have throw some text up on top of something and just have something sort of interesting in the background, um, you can do that. And you got a whole ton of these. It's just these looping forever kind of backgrounds. Um, that, that looks pretty neat. You, you can you know do some cool space things, do some hyperspace, right? <laughs> um, and then need a new background, you can do that. And then they've got some solids, so you sometimes you just need a black background, an orange background, or a gray background. You have some overlays, like maybe you want a heart, or you want some lips, or you want some snow, whatever. Some glitter. And then lastly, you have some frames, which you can apply over the top of something. So kind of frame shot. Okay? <laughs> Any questions about that? Okay, so that's the tool set. Let's go all the way back over to the star button again uh, on top. We're just gonna, I'm gonna show you how you put something in here so that, that makes sense before we go in and record some video. So let's go ahead, you can, you can search for anything you want. I don't really care. Uh, I like, like this video a little bit bigger. Think. That's perfect. So I would try to pick something that's not super long because we don't want to play around too much with it. But maybe something that's like between 10 and 30 seconds. This is like 15. You want to Oh, you can. I believe. Oh, maybe you can. Just kidding. I thought you could build it in there, but you can't. It was going to tell you if you want to just grab one. So. Oh, well, what did you search for? I want for nine. I just searched for dogs, so it's 15 seconds. I want for 12. I got basketball five, six seconds. Perfect. Okay, I got Jane playing. I got two bears playing, so I'm going to. This is. This I is have seen it. I have a snowball. So you can preview this and go, okay, I like that one. You can also heart them. So that'll put in your favorites if you like this for it to come back to later on. Uh, there's a little heart right in the corner. Okay. But this is how you put something in your timeline. So you, you just grab it, you click the hole, and then you drag it down into video one, probably in this case, and you just let it go. And what you'll notice is when I do that, if, if, if it can go somewhere, it's green. If it can't go somewhere, it turns red. And I can't put it, I can't put this video clip in audio, because that's not what it's meant for. So, but I can put it in either one of these video places. And now, um, once I get it in there, notice though that I can put it anywhere kind of on this timeline. And anything before this, this should just be black space for 30 seconds, right? So I have to be careful about where I put it. Um, normally you would plug it right up against the last thing that was in it. And this is the beginning of, of my video now, so now I've got these bears. You said the red star is okay? Red star? When I put it to video one, I have like a red. That's fine. Um, so I've got my clip in here, and it's kind of long. So how do I how do I fix it? So there's a couple things that are important about this. Um, there's this neat little nifty little button right down here, uh, right at the top corner. It says uh, "Open Editor in Full Screen." So the top right underneath your picture, and if you click that, this is going to get a lot of the crap out of our way. So it's in the top right, right above your right oh, above. That's the problem with the computer. Like, you get too much stuff on there, it's hard to see what's going on. So now we just have that editor, which is nice. In the bottom corner, this lets us zoom in and out of our, uh, our clip. So if I, if I go zoom in further, my clip's not getting longer. I'm just getting more closer to like 0.1 second versus a half second, two seconds, 10 seconds. So it makes my clip smaller or bigger. And what it makes, allows you to do is get really close in when you want to edit just a little tiny part of it or clip it at a very specific spot. So diving in is for when you're, I, I have to get this little tiny granular thing, it's gotta end right here, not over here, but right here. So I can zoom in. And then when you zoom out, you can see your entire project or most of your project. So that, that's a handy thing that uh, you'll wanna use. So I'm just gonna make this a little bit bigger. And let's say that as I'm looking at this, I'm looking at my clip, and again, I can use the space bar to play it by clicking on it. And let's say I just wanted to start it right, right about here. So what I can do is a couple things. Uh, to clip it, there's, there's a, you can clip up on the top part where, I, where my mouse is here in the screen, or I can clip here in either place. 
I normally don't clip up on the top. I usually do my clips down the bottom. And all you do here is make sure it's highlighted in orange. So I click on my, my, my bear clip, it's in orange. And then if you go to the beginning of the clip, you'll get these two arrows. And now you can just take those first few seconds off. And now I've made my clip smaller. So I'm just getting the part of my clip that I need. And I can do the same thing to the end of that by again hovering over that. So I'm going to undo both those things and try again. So my clip's not selected. If I click on my clip, it turns orange. Now, if I go to the beginning or the end of my clip and just hover over my mouse over it, I'm going to get double arrows. And I can now drag this and, and cut out the parts that I don't want. And just drag it to the pieces that I do want. Okay, there's another way to do this, and I'll show you what that is. So what could have happened is, I can go to the, and if you want a very specific edit, this is actually an easier way to do this. So if I wanted it right there, this this thing allows me to drag along my clip. This is my playhead. This is where this tells me where I'm, I'm at my clip. So if I wanted it to be like right there, where it's kind of kicking out, there's a little um, there's a there's a little scissors button. I can press that, or I can hit the S key, and that splits my clip. And it takes splits it in two clips right there. That's, That's what I did. Oh. And then. <laughs> You can keep going along your clip until the part that you want that you want to stop it at. So let's say that's where I want to stop and hit S again. First hit the clip, select the clip And now I can actually just get rid of the front by clicking on the clip and clicking backspace or the little trash can. I can just delete the parts that I don't want. Anything you do on accident, you can just hit Control Z or Command Z and it'll undo what you just did. And you can bring this clip in as many times as you want. So I can take two seconds out of this clip here and three seconds out of it later on. I can just keep bringing it in as many times as I want. So if I mess up, it doesn't really matter. It's non destructive editing. So that's how you put something into your video. Okay. Um, a couple other things about editing video. They call this video one and video two. Um, the way this editor works, and it's different, every editor is a little bit different, but a lot of times you want to layer stuff. I've got an underlying video, on top of that I might want to put a picture, and on top of that picture I might want to put some text. So that would be the example, right? So right now I've got a video, okay? And maybe I would like to put a picture of a bear or something like that. So I'm gonna just scroll down a little bit further. Here's a picture of a bear. And if I grab this and bring it in and put it on top, uh, the um, video two. It now kind of takes over the whole entire screen, but I've now got the videos playing underneath that barrier. You just can't see it because it's covering it. Okay. And the way I fix that is if you either uh, double click on the thing that you want to edit or click this little pencil icon, it brings this under, uh, it opens this editor. And so all I can do now is all I have to do is just scale this down. And I can move it wherever I would like. So now I've got this bear that's over top of this the, this bear picture, which is over top of this, uh, this video. And I can do other funky things with this. Um, for example, I can rotate it if I need to. Um, I could also make it move. Um, this next thing over is animation, so it's starting right there, and then I could have it end slightly bigger. And then I can even check this little button here and just apply spades to it, which is kind of nifty. And I can always see what it looks like by pressing the foot. You can see it's just fading in that picture, making it bigger. Um, how did you do that? I think I feel Sure, let's go back. <laughs> let's do that one again. Yep. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to grab a picture that I like. Okay, wait. So we can't even get back in. These are videos. Just scroll down a little further, there'll be pictures. You can throw another video in there too. You have ten videos. I got the other video. That's just because I'm not used to not having a mouse. So it takes me longer. So we have another video for the picture. Stuff that's like in there. That's why I didn't have that. So then they don't have a time on their picture. And we're just going to drag it on video two, which is over top. 
Okay, so I have to share. Yep, so it's right over the top of the video you, you dropped in. And then you just double click on the bear, or the, the, the image you just drew, draw, uh, draw, you just double click on it. And then there's this little scale, and you can drag that down. And then we can move around. But I got a hundred of those. hundred Yeah. Yeah. I can drag it to the video. It doesn't. It goes to video one. I guess a minute. You, yeah, this is video. This, this is a video. Yeah, so if you want to put the original stuff in the video two or video one, so you might switch this around. Just drag it in the bottom. Um, just to the right of that. Not very far up. Good, there we go. So we want a video two? Yeah, did you know that? Yeah, but not very good. From here? Yeah. No, from now. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so now I'm just zoom back up. I, I don't know. There we go. So you drink. You drink from here. That's just a preview. Right. Great. Let it go uh, up on the view. Perfect. Okay, so. And then how did you get it in the. We'll go to the next section. I just want to make sure this here goes. Okay. Good. Okay, good. Now click on the thing in video two, just double click on it. And you should get this thing where you can scale it down. Uh, I'm right there. Thank you. Yep. Video editing is not easy. And once you scale it down, you can move it around. Over here there too. we go. Okay. And then from the transform, there is animation. There's a tab up here for animation, which is what I did in the second part. We're not going to play too much with that right now. You can also change the colors. And then in the full version, you can also do green screen. So you can pull up the, the, green, the background and things if you want. Okay. These are all different tabs you can work with. How did you get those tabs? Double click on the picture. All right, so we can now edit things that we put on top of other things. Okay. Oh, so that, ah, my brain said, oh. Yep, so you can do a little bit of time. So we're going to click done editing for a second. Okay. Click done editing. And then we would like, I would like to add some text to this too, even though this is a terrible video at this point. Um, and so there's a plus button in the, in the sort of like the, the where the time frame is in the very far left screen. And if you press that, you can choose if you want another video track or audio track. And we're going to do a video, but before you click OK, we're going to rename this. This is what's going to make things make a lot more sense, I believe. So we're going to delete this, and we're going to actually call it um, um, uh, text. Which one we're working on there? Text. See. What, what are you trying to do? I lost you. Uh, I was Did you click done editing? That's it. There you go. It's the plus. Yeah. And you're going to change that to text. You just click in there. Yeah. Click editing. Good. Good. Yeah. 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 So what this did, and we're going to do this again here, what this did was it created a third video track. But we need the text. So now I know where to put my text. And if you're new to video editing, it's really important that you label these things so you don't just drop stuff all over the place. So we're going to rename these two to make this easier. So what we're going to do next is you're just going to, where it says video one, if you click just once on that, you can rename this. And we're just going to rename it to main. 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 And in video two, we're just going to call this pick, uh, pick picks for now. I would normally call it B roll, but I'm not going to worry about that. B roll and other things you want, other interesting things you might show. So now I've got my main video content goes here. My pictures go on the one above that. My text goes on the one above that. I know where to put all my stuff, and I know that it will show up. So 
that I know you were running to the um, problem of that you did you really really want to add one more but in between I didn't find a way to do that have you ever had that experience I realized that I wanted to add a logo Transparent logo sure. Uh, you would add another track, and then you could even copy everything in one track and just paste it in a track below it. That makes sense. Yeah, and that, that was the only way to do it. That's the only way to do it. Okay, yeah, I tried yeah. to look all over to find ways, but I couldn't. Okay. Unfortunately, it's similar. Okay. Yeah. So now we've got our base video with a picture above that, and oops, base video with a picture above that. And now we're going to go on these tabs up here. Where there's a star tab, then there's that my my stuff tab, and then there's an eight. We're going to click on that for text, and you can go ahead and pick whatever one you want. Here it doesn't really matter. Um, they'll be kind of big, probably. Um, a lower third would be good potentially, and lower third means it's on the lower third of the screen. So those are the things where you, usually when you get somebody's name and their title, that's where the lower third is. So I'm going to select this this lower third here. I really again don't care which one it is. And I'm just going to drop it on top of, uh, or basically into text. And now when I play this, you can see that there will be, there's my lower third. Right? Um, you can, all you have to do is grab your blue thing, bring it to the beginning, and hit the space bar. And that'll light it for you. Okay? Now, the text doesn't say what I want to say, so I need to fix that. And so I'm going to double click on the that lower third I just put in. If I double click on that, that's going to bring me to this transform menu again. And the left hand side of the two tabs on top is my actual text. And I can write whatever I want in here. So I can say, bears are great. Okay. And I can also change my color palette here a little bit. Maybe I'm like a little bit darker. Ooh, that's not great. Maybe I'm going to be a little bit nice. There we go. Like that, like that. Oh, I just changed this. So. so I changed my colors a little bit, and when I'm happy with that, and I can also change the uh, fonts here. So this little drop down will allow me to grab a different font. Let's see it changes that font. So now that font is way too not like this. Um, so Okay, so double click on the title. And then there's a little balloon in the top top left corner. You gotta click the balloon. Um, and then grab it down. Yeah. Then the okay. And now we can check this video out a little bit. Bears are great. Isn't that amazing? So grab, yep, grab the grab the play head, which is the blue thing, bring it to the beginning or wherever you want to start playing this in space bar, and then stop the space bar. Now one thing about my clip is it's a little bit long, so I'm going to actually grab it and notice it snaps right to the end of this other clip for me. So that makes sure that my, my stuff isn't too long and isn't weird. So I can just grab the end of this clip and snap it. All right. So now we've got a video, we've got a picture, we've got some text. What else do we need? Audio. So now we're going to go back to that star. Uh, actually, we're not, I'm sorry. We're going to go to, um, well, we could go to the star. Let's go to the star because this might make sense. So we got bears right now. And if we just scroll down, I bet I'm going to find some audio here that has to do with a bear. Oh. Now I've got that doesn't really make sense, so I'm gonna have you that one.
That's covered. Right now. So I'm going to throw this in here. Okay. But my biggest problem is that this audio is way too long. So this might be a time. This might be a time when I actually grab the end of this thing and put the way back, because I know it's not even close to how long it needs to be. I actually don't like the beginning of this version. And all the same things apply to. Okay. So now you have all the basics of creating a video. And now we're going to add your own content. So that was just playing around. That was just like, how do I kind of drag some stuff in and make it bigger or smaller? So you have a baseline of how this works. Now we're going to actually delete all this stuff out. <laughs> and then this is a really big room, so this should be fine. Or you can go up in a different spot, and and you guys can work with each other, and use the other person's phone. Like, give your phone to the other person, have them take a video of like ten seconds of you introducing yourself, or ten to thirty seconds. I'm Ben, and I work in the ITS department. I'm a technology innovationist here at St. Albert College. Boom, that's good enough to start. Because here's, here's the funny part. I used to have a video production business. And it was a side business that I did. And one of the videos, one of the first videos that we made uh, was for my parents for their 40th wedding anniversary. It was 20 minutes long, which is a very long video. Like it's very, very long, but 40 years long. Um, we shot way more than 20 minutes of video and had way more than 20 minutes of pictures. And for every uh, every minute of video, it takes at least an hour of editing for like high quality editing, at least an hour. So that was more like 40 hours of time to make this 20 minute video. And so that's why we're not going to do anything too long. So my first piece of advice on creating a video is to give yourself a time limit and say this is how long it should be. And in today's world, anything longer than five minutes, there's no way to watch anymore. So if you can't divide things up, and so you can do chapters and say here's your video one is five minutes, here's video two is five minutes, and there's 10 of them, so it's 15 minutes total, but don't make it 50 minutes. And we have a couple instructors on campus who we're like, oh, they should be able to, kids should just be able to do 50 minutes. And that, it doesn't matter what they should be able to do, it's about what they can do. But that doesn't make sense. Let's do what they can do. And like, well, why aren't they watching? Well, we've told you <laughs> why they don't watch it. It's 50 minutes. Cut it up. Well, I don't know. Like, that's too much work. Well, then don't do videos. I, I don't know. Um, so <laughs> that's how I feel about it. <laughs> if it's too much work, don't do it. Um, so if you're trying to create something, make it five minutes or less. If you're having your students create something, make it five minutes or less. So our students are training in Wii video and video editing at the tech farm. They can help you with all the stuff. They make free videos. None of the videos is longer than a minute. There's no need. You can say so much more in a video in a minute than you can say with pictures or with text or with a lecture. Because you have visuals, and you, like if you if you do it right, you can you can create something that's a minute long, that's way more impactful than a twenty minute long lecture if you do it right. But it takes a lot of time, right? and that's why the shorter you make your thing, the better it's going to be. So pack in what you need, and then it's more about what like videos are about what you cut out more than they are about what's left in. I know it sounds weird, but it's about like can I cut can I cut this five seconds out? I don't need it. And, it, and you, if you get when you get really good at this, you, you cut out every single ah and um and pause, and you, you cut all that stuff out. And when you do that, the video is really good. And it drastically reduces the length of it, but it, it's kind of pitiful when you do that stuff. It's, it's not all you need. 
but it's so much better. So you can do your ahs and ums, I'm gonna show you how to cut that out. I just want you to go and pair up with somebody and quickly shoot 10 to 30 seconds of video of on yourself. So there, there's, so somebody from this group needs to pair up with somebody from that group. And I would definitely try to like spread out a little bit or go somewhere else to record it. Or even like in one of these rooms, like if you open that door right there, it's super quiet right inside. Same here. <laughs> I never used these. They're there for people who like for like elementary school. You might want to go right inside that door. Okay. Like no, I like, open it because <laughs> I think it's double door, so it'll be really quiet. Oh. <laughs> No, you're not going to email it. You took it on your own phone, right? Yeah. Yep, I'm going to show you how to do this. Yeah, okay. 
The old fashioned way. I didn't even think that we created. Oh, wait, I don't think you're going to go back to whatever that's called. Oh, it turns red. Oh, oh, what more was it? I didn't even know what you're talking about. Just reading the tracks. Was it you? Where? It wasn't the right hair, though. Oh, no, it wasn't me. I'm trying to find that project. All right. Can't find it. Right. I'm just going to say it. So. Okay. Oh, it doesn't finish one. Yeah, that's right. All right, so here's what you're going to do. On your phone, if you don't have, so if we're doing this on your phone, if you don't have the Google Drive app, download it. Google Drive app. No, you nope, so just go to your store and download Google Drive. And then what's that say? Do search for right there. Okay. And then do Google Google Drive. And then so as he's downloading that, all you actually have to do on your phone is click the plus button right here. And then click um, upload. There's a little upload. And you should be able to grab stuff from your camera roll. If it's on an iPhone, it might say, Can I access your camera roll? And you say yes. And as I said, this is the best way to do this because now you have access to it from whatever program you want. You want to use it in an iMovie, you want to use it in you know, whatever, it's now Google Drive. But this program will leave you in 50 years old. So let's see. So now you got it up? No, I still spin it. Spin it, spin it, spin it. I hit the camera, that's what happened. Can I get another? Wait, that's the one. Oh, right, right. Now you're going to have to do this one. Do you have to set up on that one? Um, I don't know. I don't know. Um, okay. Okay. I don't know. 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 Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, you would think I was supposed to do that. Okay. What we can do in our blank slate now Okay, we can delete all our other stuff out, right? And we have three things. We have, uh, we have the main video, we have uh, fix, and we have text. Okay. So while we're waiting for this, one of the things you might want to do is have an intro to your to your video. You might not just start talking, 
right? A lot of times we'll have like a little bit of a text. So we'll, we're gonna start building that while we're waiting for everybody to upload stuff. And all you need to do there is it's already black. So if you don't want, if you just want black, you don't have to do anything. We just gotta put some text on it. If if you want background, that is the, the tab all the way to the right, the graphics tab. And you can pick one of these cool graphics instead. So if you want kind of this weird sort of look, you know, whatever. If you want some curtains. Let's you know. I'm gonna do this one. Then all you're gonna do is you're gonna you're gonna drag that into in this case the main the main one because that's gonna be our main video for this part and it's pretty long mine's ten seconds there's no way I'm gonna need that one but we'll leave it for, leave it for just a minute and then we'll go back to text and now this is where you can choose whatever opener you would like to have here's a standout message what is this gonna be like that just uh, delete it out. You need at least one audio of the track. Go back to your video and keep it in that area. And then take up the video. The video. Yes. Okay. Yeah. No, don't delete those. Sorry. I'm just going to use Just put that piece in there. Take each other. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so don't delete the trash, just delete the things in the trash. Oh. How are you? Good. Mm -hmm. Good. All right, so then all we're doing is again, you can put in any background you want from the graphics section or no background. And the graphics section is this one in the far right, this thing right here. You can drag any one of these in, or you can do a solid if you just want a solid black or a solid black or gray or something, whatever you want. Are we putting that in the main? And we're going to put that in the main and make sure it's bumped right up against the edge there as far as we can go. And then once that's in there, we're going to go into that text section. You're going to you're going to select some text you think is interesting that you'd like to have on the screen. Now, anything with a black background, that's going to bleed through the back. Okay, so anything in here that's black, that will bleed through, so you can still see what's on the screen behind it. If it doesn't have that, uh, like some of these, like this one, you're never going to see what's behind it. So what does this one look like? I don't like that. Um, I'm going to do this sparkly one. And then when you get, when the one, once you've got what you like, you're just going to drag it and drop it again right up, maybe maybe just a second or so into the video. And you can see, see when I drag this, it actually tells me where the time code is. So right, this is two seconds in, so about a second or so in, I'm just going to let it go there. That way it'll be black for a second, and then my text is going to come up. So first we need a new one named text. So it should be text, pics, and maybe drag. Yeah, well, I was deleting on my Yeah, of course. So grab that. And oh, just like small. I'm curious. And in order for us to grab our media and bring it in, we are going to need to uh, do one other thing. So now I think everybody's got something uploaded to Google Drive or already has something in their timeline. So there, that button that we used to make it full screen, the top right here, we're going to click that again to make it not full screen. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna get out of full screen mode because in a minute there's gonna be a pop up and if you're in full screen mode the pop up doesn't appear. Um, just my background. What did you just say? That I'm sorry. Click um click that full screen button again so you have you have the address bar and everything comes back. Oh. And you were saying make the primary text. Oh, it's not like. 
Okay. One second. Um, give us a second. You don't have to actually. They all have to. Try a four second video. Yeah. So, how do I. How do I. It's my way, actually. Oh, okay. Because it actually has an intro to me. So now we have our text in there. Okay. I'm gonna make I'm gonna make my bottom thing no longer than this this I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit so you can't see that. I don't want this thing to be any longer than my text, so I'm gonna click on here and I'm gonna drag that back to the same length as my text. I don't want it to be any longer than that. Oh, that looks great. And then I'm gonna double click on this and I can change my text here. You should be able to go. Why does it still run though? Because it's not what do you mean? It's blank, but it's still just uh, I'm asking super questions. All right. Change my text. Mm -hmm. See, I'm going to ask you that. Change your color. Like I'm gonna change your color just if you so choose. I still don't like money very much, but that's a question. That's a nice sort of good, I guess. All right, so now we've got uh, we've got a beginning of our video, and now we're gonna add that that, that video of you in here. Okay? Yeah. So what we're going to do next is make sure again you're out of that full screen mode so you can see you should go see the address bar and everything. We're going to go over to the folder with the star inside of it. Folder with the star inside of it. Yeah. Click the green button. Yeah. And then click where it says on the bottom import from social sites. You're going to click the Google Drive button. Give it permission to your Google Drive if, if it asks for it, and then you should be able to find this, this video that you uploaded, which should just be in your drive, sitting there by itself, probably right below your files. Okay, wait. I'm sorry, but you want to go first? So you're going to click on um, the, the folder with the star inside. Oh, there's the button. Oh, maybe. All right. Then the Google Drive icon. See, Max can't do that. Okay. Oh, yeah, you're not going to go over there. I know, I'm done. All right? No. Click the Click the Google back on the bottom. Right here. And then scroll down to the bottom. Just refresh. Oh, no. To go in the media right down here. Yeah, and then I'll go in the middle. And I understand why it's a problem. That's all right, because mine is a blank screen holder. Yeah, it's just a white screen. So that's all I'm going to do. That's all I got, too. What do you mean? I'm going to upload my video. 
So just go, you know, you'll, if, if you get the blank screen, you'll have to go to Google Drive, download the video, and put it in too. For some reason, it's not connecting. I don't know. And go back to the um, Refresh the page. So once you grab your video, like if I wanted this video in, I, I just took that click select and then upload it. Um, or if it wasn't working for you, you could download it to your machine and then and then just drag it and drop it inside of here, and that's fine. Which is what we had to do with some of these. Once it's done processing, you'll actually see it as a picture here. And so now you can take your video and you can actually just drop it down inside. We're going to go to me. I just gotta figure out what to put that one. So let's say this is the video I wanted. I was just curious. Oh, it's real. Yeah. 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 Control Z. So let's say that I drop my. Oh. Alright. This. So I'm gonna drag my video in, and I'm gonna put it right after, right in the main timeline, right after that other thing. Just drop it in. It's gonna record for a second here. Um, okay, so I got this video in there, and there's a couple things I want to clean up out of it, obviously. Uh, it did start pretty much right away, so I might not have to do too much. It's going to record for a second here. Um, and I want to get rid of that part. I would, I would probably just delete that end off, but let's just say I wanted to take a little bit of it out. All I would do is go to the part where um, um, I said um, like I said to it. Um, okay. And then zoom way into this thing. So I can I can use this button here to zoom in. And then the cool part about this is there are in the main the main video track here, there's this little track settings thing. And I can click this, if I click that, it's like a little drop down menu. And then I can say I'd like to see the levels of this track. And I can also, in uh, the drop down next to that, this little carrot, I can choose how big of a video I want. And I actually would like to see my audio. So this little drop down, let me see the audio in my clip. And now I can see where the um happens, which makes this much easier for me to clip this out. And so right before that um happens, I can press that S button. Um, um, right after that, <coughs> hit that S button again, and now that um is gone, and I can get rid of that as well. I want to. Just gonna record for a second here. Now I would never leave this much space in my video in between talking 
because it's just wasted. So I would actually, the way I would have gotten rid of that originally is just, this is where I stopped rocking. And I might even get rid of this little bit here. And that just saved me half a second, two seconds in my video of just wasted time. So I've made it much, much uh, more concise. Just gonna record for a second here. Obviously that's not the greatest thing in the world. So that's, that's how you can trim things up. You just zoom way in and you trim the before and after the part you wanna get rid of. Or if it's just a clip and you wanna get rid of the beginning and end, that's totally fine too. So if you did a really good job in your, in your take, you don't. You just need to cut the beginning and end off. If you talk for ten minutes and you need to cut a bunch of stuff off, you can just zoom in on it and use that S key uh, and, and loop things up that you want. The last thing I would do, and, and I might go back into the the full screen editor for this, so I can see all my tracks, is I might add some audio to this. And I'm going to show you one last little piece of this because we're getting pretty close to the end here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and. Let's grab this thing here. This. Sure. I'm going to bring this in, and obviously, I know that this is way too long again. So I'm going to cut it way down. Still too long. And I might let it fade out the black here. But this is a pretty good spot to stop it. The last thing I want to show you, when I did that little show levels button in this drop down, this gives me a, this blue line is my audio, green line is my video, so I can fade it in and out if I want. But the blue line is important because right now, when I play this video, it's kind of loud when I'm talking. So the cool part is, with that, that show levels thing happening, if I click on that blue line, I can make these little what are called keyframes, and I will make two of them, and I'll make two of them at the end. And what I do is I drop this level down to something acceptable. It's usually really low, like 12 or 13%. Wow. And then I might make a second one and bring it back up here. So now what I get, just gonna record for a second here. And that little trick allows you to still hear what the person's saying, still have some music because it's kind of nice to have that, but still hear the same. And so that's how you create your video. Let's let's give you a few minutes, give you like five minutes to see if you can create your video. Just play around. Like you can't you can't break anything. So just just click stop and see what happens. You click on two spaces and then drop it down. Yeah, so you click on the blue line. Oh, okay. And you have to uh, hit the show button. Thank you. 
Yeah. So now you see why we just turn around about resources. It's like not helpful. We have to get into our house because you can like look at your and you can do that and that and you talk through some of that. Will you remember all this? No. Don't expect it to, but you know that it's possible. And so you can again just click on stuff so you get what you want. I clicked here, did that work? And I clicked here, did that work? And that's how you learn this stuff. Um, Perfect. Oh, that's great. See, lady, you're all the That's cool. So, how come my, uh, when I click a bad frame, I don't see it? I didn't expect my computer to go because I had three hours. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, you can't see it because it's in the wrong order. Yeah, so you actually want to take this. Take this. Take this. If this goes over the top, then actually, I don't know. Yeah, the trick one won't go away. You just only get five minutes. Correct. Yes. Um, and, and so you can finish it. But not if you put the essential library. If you put the essential things, though, that won't work. If you put it on Friday, then it won't. Correct. So if you want to play around with and create your own videos, I can give you licenses. I'll create a new thing and give them, I'll send you guys a link. If, just email me and say I would like a license to play around with, and I can do that. Yeah. Um, and then <clears throat> the one thing I didn't show you was if you, uh, when you're done, there's a finish tab. And in the paid version that we have, you can you can finish it at a higher rate, which I would like 720p is way better than 480. But the cool part is right from here, you can also attach it into a YouTube channel. So if you're gonna put all your stuff on YouTube right away, you can automatically just save it right into YouTube type, like you just put in your YouTube credentials, it'll save it to your YouTube channel, which is nice. Or you can also save it directly into Google Drive. So that it'll save a copy of it on, on the video, but it'll also put a copy to Google Drive and check out. Again, if you have time or when you have time, don't forget to uh, submit for or give us some feedback and stuff too. Appreciate that. You're having some weird pop-up issue when you're here, but I don't know why. Because that happened, that was the same that same issue that we had before why you couldn't do my thing. It's gotta be the same reason why you couldn't do the but I downloaded so I was doing it on the right, so so back. You're having some weird issue. I just don't like this. That's what I mean. I'll just do it on my one back in the office. I'm not going to do it. I just thought that one because I don't have a lot of stuff.